All right, let's wrap a board. Um, so prep on a board before you get uh, put a wrap on. You cannot put it onto raw wood. So you either need a clear coat and sand or primer and sand. Uh, to make that wrap stick properly. So we've already gone ahead and primered and sanded it, wiped down the uh, wiped down the board, make sure all the dust and du <coughs> dust and moisture is off of it. Same deal for the back of the back of the wrap before you go ahead and put it on here. Make sure it's free of dust and particles that are gonna get stuck underneath it. get this wrap up here. So backing still on it. We want to get this thing in position. So really I'm just kind of feeling with my fingers and getting it uh, getting it squared up at the bottom. I'll get it squared up at the top. When you get it pretty close go ahead and get your tape ready. Uh, that way when you got it in place you can just go ahead and stick the tape on. Now if you can fold a little bit of that, give you a tab to pull it off, it's gonna it's not gonna be on very long. Alright, so so feeling around, it's getting it even at the bottom. Let's get it even up at the top. Good. And good. All right. So I'm good all the way around. So I'm gonna stick the tape on. Make sure it holds real well. All right. Now we go ahead and uh, pull the backing backing off and pull it back to where that tape is. Just kind of, you're going to try to put six to eight inches of this down, but you got to peel a little bit more back so that you can cut it. Uh, pick it up so you don't cut the board. Alright. Now I'm putting a, pulling a little bit of tension. Pushing the corners down. And then really you can do this with a, uh, like a microfiber rag. I took, this is an old, uh, an old ice scraper that I put like a microfiber rag around. It was easy to hold. Like I said, you can just do this with a rag. You're just pushing, pushing the air bubbles out. So once you get that pressed down, go ahead and push, push down on the sides. If you want to just go down when you're doing that, you come across, it ends up wrinkling it. Once you get it down, you can go side to side on it. But yeah, just go straight down and then... So... This wrap was a little bit smaller, it looks like, so I was able to just push that corner down. Uh, so sometimes on some bigger wraps, I'll score out. I'll score out that corner. Uh, but this is folding down pretty good. Push it down the best you can. Uh, we're going to go ahead and come around with a heat gun when we're all done. But at that point, you got that first, you know, almost eight inches there down. That is going to dictate the direction this wrap's going to go on. So here you can take your tape off, put those tabs on, pulls off pretty easy. All right, we're going to flip this thing over. I'm going to pull back about half of what's there. I want to be able to hold it all. Be able to hold it all in one hand, and then I'm pulling back here. But if you can see how this is getting held up by that fold, um, that's good because then you just start pushing the air out. But if it if it touches, it's going to stick. So you want to keep it up, keep it elevated on this side, and push in here. I mean, if you had someone that could actually hold this side, it would probably be better. But this isn't too bad to do it by yourself. So once I get close to the fold, pull, pull some more of it on. I'm keeping tension this way so that this does not drop and 
and stick, but really just working two or three inches there at a time, going all the way up. We'll find the edge, there's the edge of the hole. As you get towards the top and the hole, I kind of start doing just a little bit less at a time. It tends to wrinkle around the top of this top of this hole. So once I get here, maybe I take my hand and just get it get it kind of started there. Come back in. So you could just use just a rag, a microfiber rag in your hand. Or something like that squeegee with some kind of rag or cloth between it. And here at the end, you pretty much just hold up. Pushing that last little bit out. It's like little bits at the end so you don't wrinkle it up. Push that out. Push down these edges. And this wrap did have some excess around the outside, so before before I put it on here and started the video, I uh, I trimmed I trimmed the excess off the sides. I don't now I'm on. I'm not cutting anything off after the fact. I was able to just clamp it down with a straight edge. Make nice cuts. So you push push everything down the best you can. We'll come back with the heat gun. All right, so here now we're down to the hole. I, I don't like to cut around it. I like to pull this wrap through. So I'm trying to make maybe an inch wide or so slit. Cut that in half. We're gonna make a little plus sign here. For right now, just just get that up, you know wrapped over. We'll flip it over and put the heat gun to that as well. You just kind of want to get started, stuck over and out of the way. And now, uh, just quarter quarter these little triangles. One, two, three. Middle, middle, middle. Quarter, quarter. Yeah, the more little segments it has, easier it is to fold over. So yeah, fold, let's fold these down. They're going to wrinkle a little bit here, but once put the heat gun to it, it'll take a lot of that out. <clears throat> All right, so we got a heat gun. Let's start over on this corner. Get this pushed down. I mean, it it will melt melt and bubble the wrap. So hair dryer works. This is just a little quicker. But here you can use a hair dryer with this. We're just going to get it going and I just press. You can see the bubbles come in and the wrinkles kind of get the air, air out of it. It heats up the air and it heats up the wrap and when you push it. It really bonds it really well to the board. So just keep the gun right in front of your finger. And Press down with the rag. And that really melts melts the wrap right to the board. You'll be able to see it the best in, uh, around the corners. The corner really wants to stick up sometimes and put the heat gun to it. Shrinks it right down. Come back to the hole here now. Good 
we got a couple, couple little bubbles here. This is something that won't really press out. Razor blade, poke it, heat gun, and then it usually flattens out pretty well. Too crazy though. Alright. Now don't forget about the other side. So there's the wrap we pulled through. We made that plus sign and quartered the other triangles. So we'll give them a press. And we'll go ahead and just heat this up. Um, and then putting the heat to it really seems to kind of melt the wrap to the board. Um, Helps activate the glue or what? But. <clears throat> All right, let's put the wrap on. Uh, the wrap I got here is laminated. It's got a plastic coating on it, so technically, it's you can go ahead and play on it right now. Um, I like to clear coat them. I use a Parks Pro Finish clear coat. Uh, it clear the clear coat goes very well on the um, on the wrap because it's already so uh, so smooth. Um, and then just be careful if you have an unlaminated wrap, meaning it doesn't have a clear piece of protection plastic on it, you really want to laminate that or the bag's going to start uh, just taking the ink off every time you hit it. So that's it.